Speaking of great fighters, June the 10th, MSG, all goes down. Your yep. good friend, Josh Taylor, takes on Teofimo Lopez for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship. Josh is reigning defending champion. How much are you looking forward to this fight? I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be there, hopefully. So that's good. We're going over on the 31st of May. Yeah. Uh, for a training camp and everything. So, but it'll be good to see you live as well. But I think. Just too big, too strong, too fast. He's got that hunger in him too now. Because uh, obviously he was here for Ramirez. Yeah. Carter was down and he took the foot off the gas a bit. Mm -hmm. And now he's uh, back up here. He's got that big fight again. It's put the fire in his belly again. He's got that bit between his teeth. Yes. Matty, he's going to fucking do him, mate. I'm I you. think he is. I, I think he could chin him like mm -hmm. he I really do later on in the rounds. I, I'm going about eight, nine, ten maybe. You know, just Josh is right and power like he. He's, he's a huge. he's a very underrated body puncher. Goes to the yeah. body so well. Yes. That, that twitchiness, that in and out, getting mm. the shots off. Hell of a fighter. But how does he win the fight? I I think I, I think he stops him late, maybe ten, eleven. Uh, I just think he's going to be too strong for him. Really, and Josh is extremely fast and accurate. I just think he's going to Fimo is going to walk into a shot. What does Tio bring to the table that Josh will have to be wary on the night? Because it is, it's elite level yeah, boxing. Uh, he's very skilled himself. He's got a good jab, does he not? Yeah. And very explosive. Good yeah. volume as well. Yeah, 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 that's it. And that's yeah. how he beat Lomachenko, wasn't it? Whereas the volume of punches, yeah. So I think he can't get drawn into a fight early on. I think Josh has to keep it his distance, work yeah. behind his jab and everything. Do you believe Josh Taylor can have this man mentally on the ceiling at the way in the press conference? Because he's not Taylor's not mentally a hundred percent there. I yeah, don't think. he's all over the shop. And isn't he? him and his dad like to give it this, give it that. But you've got this mad jocksman standing in yeah, front, in you. front you, of you. You know what he's it. like, Josh Taylor. He's tapped upstairs. He yeah. is an elite level operator. Do you think they can get into this man's head? You know what? It's, it's a strange one because they both like a bit of the. Uh, battle with uh, verbals, if you get me. So, I think to to feel as uh, he's a part of that game too, isn't he? Where he, so I think I think it will be very exciting, and I think it'll be a bit of fireworks during this uh, during the way. I think there'll be fireworks, but I think they'll both give as good as they get because he's good at all that stuff too, isn't he? Yeah. He can rowdy uh, anybody up too. Did, but I said to you before, Matt, I've seen you've got this mad Scotsman yes. standing in front of you. In front of you, the, yeah. the Americans, they don't know how to react. They, they mm -hmm. get into a shell sometimes. Mm -hmm. you mean, they can't mm -hmm. deal with this absolute maniac in front of you willing to take the head clean he off you. can go into a shell, eh, and his dad starts piping up a bit. Yeah. Eh, his dad's a bit... bit yeah. weird. But then you'll have Joshy's dad too. The, right. Both the dads going at each other. <laughs> that, that would be it. And then Terry can then be just sitting back like this. This, this is great. Do we see a ruthless Josh Taylor in this fight? Yes. Yeah. Is he wanting to shut a lot of people up? Yes. Yes. And then you've got that ruthless. And then no doubt you'll hear about the Catterall shout. But that door's closed now. Yeah. At the end of the day, if I was Josh, tell him to look back at the books and see yeah. who got the W. That's I, all that matters, I isn't be, it? I believe he will. We want to shut a lot of people up because you're getting mm -hmm. all this shit. I heard Jamie Wilder the other day, oh, Josh Taylor's picking up injuries. He's shy to be it. Listen, Joe McNally is a world-class coach. He's good, yeah. They've got that guy from Liverpool <laughs> University, Dane Josh's weight. That gym down mm -hmm. there is absolutely flying. They will leave no stone unturned. Yeah. And I believe Josh Taylor finishes the fight inside six rounds. I believe it goes fast. Do, do you? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Really do, I. Aye. Listen, he's got that bit between his teeth. Yeah, He's yeah. doing it at the gym. He's there with Aston, mm -hmm. uh, JJ Metcalf, yeah. uh, Frankie Stringer. That madman as well, Darren Till. You need a guy like Aye, that. The guy who's in the back and yeah, winding yeah. everybody up. Mm -hmm. I believe Josh Taylor closes the show inside six rounds. I really do. Aye. And listen, he's been out the ring 16 months, but, but he's going to get it. And he's going. He's to, had some great sparring as well, and yeah. that I've seen, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's going to take this man's soul, and I do believe when he gets the victory, he's the only guy that can trouble Terence Crawford. Yeah. I, I really do think that. Listen. Uh, that would be a mega fight, dude. Let's yeah. have it at Easter Road. Oh, that'd be Easter great, Road. Yeah. At the castle. Listen, Crawford, hey. I, I, I think he's, t he's number one pound for pound. Or no yeah, doubt that, agreed. Right? But he's getting that wee bit older. But that's it. Is he coming over the slide, yeah. you know? And so. boxing is all about timing. Mm -hmm. if Josh, can, Josh should be top rank. If he can get him that fight, if he can come through this fight unscathed, date next, move up there. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, why not? Yeah, because mm -hmm. you need to challenge yourself. If 
if he if when he wins this fight, sorry, uh, why would you not move up yeah. and give yourself another challenge? Mm-hmm. He's the king at that weight. Yeah. He had all the belts until he gave them up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I, in the cart fight, I just think Josh couldn't have got for it. Do you no. know, as you said, How he's coming you, down from exactly. Las Vegas, things like that. Yeah. But I'm going to push you for a prediction in the Lopez Taylor fight. What do you think? I'm going Taylor round nine. Yeah, stoppage. Yeah, yeah. I think he chins him yeah. round nine. Then we can get the big one back at Easter Road, Union Undercard, McCrawford. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That would be great. <laughs> uh, Easter Road, or because there was talks about. Uh, Lopez being on That's right. Easter Road, Easter Road aye. Um, mm-hmm. Ian was going oh we'll get you so aye, I was aye. on it aye, I was aye. like great and then <laughs> turns out obviously Easter Road or Madison Square Garden so you take aye, your no. pick you know <laughs> so then from there I was like Ian get me on that yeah. can we get over to mm, yeah. America and fight in aye. Madison Square Gardens for a fourth fight but then he goes they have their prospect, American prospects, the British have theirs. So, yeah, but I'll take it Easter Road, Terence Crawford, Undercard. Josh <laughs> Taylor, Terence Crawford, Undercard. Def- then you can headline there in a few years, Matt. Exactly, I mean? there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>